Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal career mode, straight into our first game of the episode today. We've got Wolves away from home, and wow, look at that. We have only conceded 11 goals so far this season. The next best team is Liverpool with 16. We, we're ahead by five there. That's pretty decent if you ask me. So Wolves look like they've been busy in the transfer window. They've got Abraham up top there. They've got a very good team. But they are currently struggling in the league. They are in 15th place. We're in first, of course. We've got a massive lead at the top of the table. So uh, this isn't, you know, one of those games where we absolutely must win. But, of course, I just want to keep the pressure on second, third and fourth. If they really want to try and catch up, I have to drop points. So I want to keep winning points. Of course, we are still in the transfer window, roughly halfway. Let's get across in here. Oh, it was decent. Very decent. But uh, as you know, I don't think I'll be looking to make any changes to the squad unless something crazy happens. A player gets made available or we lose a player. Who knows? Maybe we get a major injury and I need to replace them. Um, but really, I think realistically we're, we're okay. Of course, we did make a big signing in the last episode. We got ourselves a new defender in Rugani. So we lost Mustafi. That should be ours. God, I thought for a second Leno might miss that. Was it going in? I don't think it was. But we got Rugani instead of Mustafi, so I think that's a very decent swap. Although, he cost me quite a lot of money, which is still a little bit frustrating, because I don't think he's actually worth the amount we paid for him. Um, but he was pretty much the only defender I could find that kind of matched what I was looking for. Here's Williams, put a through ball in. Ah, oh, it wasn't the player I was looking for, Mbappe made a good run there. Here's Dembele now, he's been in the team a lot lately, I've really enjoyed using him. Here's Mbappe now. Nice bit of skill. That should be a foul. Surely. He's bundled him over before he even touched the ball. And now Wolves are on the attack here with Abraham. Got... Yes, Koulibaly. Got Koulibaly right behind him. And there's just no way you're escaping him. Let's see if we can get forward again. Mbappe. We'll put Williams in over the top maybe. That's a decent pass, that. Okay, we need runners into the box. Mbappe's made his way in. Oh, my God. Alfie Mawson is that. Good signing again for Wolves. He almost put it in the back of his own net. We're going to get a corner now. Decent delivery. Sergei wins the header. And there you go, guys. Malinkovic, Savic. What a signing he's proved to be. Makes it 1-0. And it's definitely not the first header he has scored. This is where he is actually very, very strong. One of his big pros, I would say, of his game is his physicality. The fact he's so good in the air as well. And he has scored from a few corners already this season. Here is Jota now. They look quite dangerous on the break. Oh, no, he's gone through me. What a block by Kimpembe just by standing there. Alexandro with the block again. Still haven't won this back. Here's Jota again. Oh, he's done me again. He's really tricky, you know. Cross coming in. We should be able to clear it this time. And now Dembele's in. Oh, what a ball by Mbappe. Surely we score this. I'm going to sweat it. Oh, my God, that was terrible. Oh, my... I have to apologise. I have to apologise to everyone watching this video. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> Let's just pretend it didn't happen. Okay, we're just going to keep running here. Let's just make it 2-0 in a different way instead. Here is Alexandro. We're going to try sweat it again. Oh, my... Uh, I didn't learn from my mistake, clearly, because I tried to sweat it again. And it didn't work again. But luckily, the ball's come back. And Alexandro has scored his first goal for Arsenal. Let's have a look at this. I mean, the fact that's even gone in is pretty crazy. I will take it. 2-0 on the stroke of halftime. Straight away in this second half, if you look at the bottom of your screen there, Mukiele is injured. I'm not really sure what happened. He just suddenly pulled up, so I'm guessing that's a hamstring issue. That's not good news. But, of course, we have signed Rugani, so we have got back up. We've also got Holding as well. Hopefully, he's not injured for long, though. We've intercepted that with Sergei. Let's see if we can get forward now. Put it through from Mbappe for him just to run on to because he's got 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Five-star skills as well. Didn't really need them. Oh, the cross wasn't bad, but couldn't get past the first defender. Let's see if we need to take him off. I, I think we do. That's really quite frustrating. So we're going to go with Rugani and swap him with Koulibaly because he's a little bit quicker. I think you need a bit more pace on the right or the left of the middle centre-back. So Rugani's going to make his debut. We've given him the number six shirt. Here he is coming on for Mukiele, who has run off. He hasn't stumbled off or fumbled off, so that's good to see. Maybe just a couple of days out. I've made two other changes as well. Gnabry and Awa coming on, both of them on the ball here. Pass that into Williams. Continue the run, Gnabry. Or Mbappe, he's going to take over. Back into the box. Oh, we've got away with that. To Williams. No! 
That was incredible defending. He just got a touch on it. Hit that first time. Go on. Oh, no way. Oh. Oh, my God. Torreira. He only scores bangers for me. What a goal. That was insane. Deflected cross. Some sort of clearance gone wrong. And it's, it's absolutely perfect. Look at this for a volley. From a centre defensive midfielder. He's unbelievable, man. What a goal. And that should be the end of the game here. There you go. The referee ends it. 3-0. To be fair, I didn't play particularly well, but we played well enough to win, I would say. I would maybe have said 1-0 would have been a fair result. So um, we'll take a 3-0 victory, though. Another clean sheet. We're finding it very easy right now in the Premier League. I still haven't lost a game. And now we have an update on Mukiele's injury. It is going to be a three-week injury with a pulled quad. It's a little bit disappointing, but three weeks, ultimately it's not very long, is it? So we are going to be absolutely fine. We do have a couple of games in that period, but the most important thing is he will be, he'll be back for the, the Champions League. So um, I haven't even checked who we've got, so should we find out now? It's PSG! Wow, okay. Mbappe will be returning to Paris for the first time since joining Arsenal. We will have PSG in the round of 16 in the Champions League. And we have Liverpool, Bournemouth, Leeds and Crystal Palace. So pretty much, I think we should be getting Mukiele back here around this time here. So he won't play in these two games, but should be fully fit for PSG. Anyway, up next, we have an FA Cup game against Preston. So we're going to use the second team, but I'm now going to create another second team. Now that I've sold a few players, I need to change it. Lots of tired players after that last match. But here is the second team that I've put together. It's extremely strong for a second team. We've got Gnabry, Lacazette and Iwobi up top. Now, obviously, when you simulate games, which is what we normally do with the second team, you need players in their correct positions. Otherwise, it can actually affect the results. So what you need to do is check their preferred positions. And you'll see here, weirdly, Iwobi is left mid or right wing. So it makes sense to put him out here on the right because it is a right wing position. Gnabry is left wing as well. He can play there. Obviously, Lacazette up front. Awa, Xhaka and Draxler. Draxler is a centre mid in FIFA 19. He is at the moment. I, I don't know if he actually plays there more than he does play as a cam in real life. Um, but either way, that works. 86 rated as well. Obviously, he's going to go in this team. Then Visor, Rugani, Holding, Kolasinac. And then, of course, we want Chesney in goal. So that is the second team. We are going to go ahead and make... I think it should be Xhaka. He should be our captain in this squad here. And that is going to be the FA Cup team, I guess. And the odd game where... I mean, obviously, we've got other players that can come in, like Guendouzi, Maitland-Niles, uh, Nketiah, Smith-Rowe, Nelson. So many great players that can come in and do a good job for us. So we'll go with the second team, and we will simulate this game against Preston, which is actually away from home, so you never know what the result could be. Luckily, just before I've gone into this simulation, I noticed the team was bugged out. It, it changed all the positions, so I've managed to fix it. And let's see what happens. We're 20 minutes in here. Let's just skip the entire match. And it's going to be a 1-0 victory. That's really good. Gnabry got on the score sheet. That'll be good for him. He was really good when he came on in the last game. So I'm thinking I might start him in the next game. We just got a transfer offer for Awa. Um, no, absolutely no way. Even though he's worth 46 million as his value, 57 doesn't come close to how much I value him for. I mean, the assistant manager is saying I could get between 68 and 100 million. So no chance. Absolutely no chance that I was going to let him go. I wouldn't let him go for 150 million. I love the guy. He may not be in the first team every single game, but um, I use him an awful lot as a sub as well as in the first team every now and again. And in fact, because I am going to change up the team a little bit for this Tottenham game, we've already beaten them twice this season. So I'm feeling pretty confident we'll beat them for a third time. Like I said just before, we are going to switch up the team. We're going to be bringing in Gnabry and you know what? I'm going to bring in Awa for a game because why not? I'm going to have Milinkovic-Savic as a cam. We'll take Dembele out for Awa. And then we're going to have... I'm going to take out Williams and put Gnabry up front next to Mbappe. Rugani's going to come in this team, of course. So we'll swap Koulibaly out onto the right side there. Um, do you know what? I'm going to give Kolasinac a run as well. Uh, is there anyone else I fancy using... I kind of want to get one of these three into a game, but the problem is I don't play with wingers at this point, and if I do, they play as strikers, and I don't think Smith-Rowe is particularly great as a striker. I've tried it once, 
Uh, Nelson, I mean, he's just pacey, so I guess that could work. So what I'm going to do is bring Nelson on the bench, and he will come on as a striker in that second half. So uh, another North London derby. Let's get three points and beat them again. Let's take a look at the Tottenham side then. Lloris in goal, of course. Rui, all the way around. Manolas and Davies. That's a different back four to last time. Kadira starts with Dyer in midfield. Lucas, Deli Ali, and Son. And of course, Harry Kane up top. And they're not going to show me the bench because why would they want to do that? On paper, as usual, I'll always say this when we're up against Tottenham. We are the better team. But you just never know in a North London derby. I've lost these games in the past. You guys have seen it already in this career mode. I think in the first season, I lost to them twice. But so far this season... Oh, God. So far this season, two games, two wins in North London derbies. Hoping to make it three. That's a decent cross in, but Koulibaly's not cleared it very well. Here's Deli Ali. I've slid in stupidly. But that's a great tackle from Kim Pembe. Here they come again. Oh my god, what a start Tottenham have made. They're going to get a corner this time. Just before it went out for a, a goal kick, which was a surprise. But here comes the corner now. It's going to be Son to take it. It's not a great delivery. Torreira can clear it. What a header that is. Gnabry's being strong. Okay, now we just need to... Oh, I've just ran into trouble, but we've still got it. Try and get something going here. Put it through. Nice. Okay. I'd rather Bellerin took over here, but Gnabry will. And I'm going to have to go for a back post cross, I think. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What a goal. That is an Arsenal counter-attack if I've ever seen one. And it's Sergei again. How many headers is he going to score? That break was just brilliant. We, we won the ball from a big clearance. Torreira heading it all the way out to Gnabry, who did really well to hold off multiple challenges. And the cross was just superb as well. Great start to the game here. Even though they've had two chances... We've not conceded. And then we've just gone up the other end and, and said thank you very much. We'll take the lead. But Tottenham still want to start strong here. Deli Ali plays it back to Kadira. Oh, Leno has to make the save. And again, here they come. They've been really difficult to tackle. Just cannot get the ball off them. I think again, we're going to manage to clear it. Can we have a repeat of the first goal we scored? This time it's going to be Mbappe running. He's up against Manolas, one of the quickest defenders in the game. But you're just not going to catch Mbappe, are you, really? Try and pass it inside. That kind of works, you know. Out to Bellerin. Into the box again. Here is Serge. Inside to Gnabry. Oh, that was just poor. I've just overplayed that. Should actually get that. Yes, Bellerin. Nicely done. Is it going to be a foul? No. Play on. We need a runner. Serge's picked it up. We'll give it to Gnabry. Turn back. Inside for Serge again. Oh, the, the run from Mbappe was great, but it just got blocked off. Here's Bellerin now. Into the box. Go on, Gnabry. It's come out here to Awa. Can he finish it? And it gets deflected out for a corner. This game is quite literally Tottenham attack. We steal it. We hit them on the break. We're basically doing what most teams would do away from home, but we're doing it at home today. It's a little bit of a weird one. Let's see if we can get a good corner in, though. Let's get a good delivery in from Torreira. That's nice. Mbappe's there and Lloris. What a save. We should be able to get another cross in here. Ideally, I want to get him on, on his left foot, so that's not going to happen. Here's Alwa, who's now got number eight, now that Ramsey's gone. Into Serge. Finesse it. Oh! If that went in, that would have been the perfect first half. And there goes the whistle. Honestly, I can't complain, though. We've contained them. Although they've had a lot of chances, they have not really looked too dangerous in terms of actually scoring. And we're winning the game. So it's still been a very good first 45 minutes. Bellerin in space over here. Get the cross in. Oh, what a ball. Oh, it's just... It's too easy. Bellerin and Klasinac, or whoever are playing in those positions, they get so far forward with the instructions I've got. They've always got join the attack and overlap. And they just find so much space. I just square it, switch the sides, and look at this. Awa completely unmarked. 2-0. Another headed goal. We've been scoring so many of them recently. And you know what? I don't think Tottenham are going to get back in this game. It's going to be another win. I just want the clean sheet now. That's what I'm going to be fighting for. And if we can make it three, obviously I'll be going for it. We want to embarrass them as much as we can. They're playing terribly. They've literally just passed me the ball. Oh my God, Tottenham. What, what, have, you been, what have you been doing this season, eh? Uh, Harry Kane's in here. Just don't let him shoot. Oh God, Kimpembe, well done. That was a bit dodgy. That's the first time I genuinely thought I was going to concede. 
But now we hit him on the break like we've been doing this entire game. Look at Mbappe. Into space. He hasn't scored in the last two games, but he has been involved a lot. Pass it backwards. Here's Awa. Back out to Bellerin. Just controlling the ball here. Oh, okay. And as soon as I say that, jinxed it. <laughs> Give it straight to them. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, Kimpembe again. He's so good. And we're even going to keep it in. Look at that. Let's hit him on the break again. Let's go. Gnabry over the top here for Awa. He's not going to get there, though. Harry Winks, who's just come on, intercepts it. It's all right, though. If they get across in, we'll deal with it because we've got three incredibly good centre-backs that are just dealing with everything. Maybe not this, though. Please. No. No. They eventually got through. I was caught out of position there. I lost the ball in midfield and they just cut through. I only had Kimpembe there, really. Well, actually, in fairness, Koulibaly did come in. It was pretty much Rugani's fault there. I think he stepped out and that is going to be a chance for Tottenham to get back in this game. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Oh, do you know what? How has this happened and why has this happened? Look how slow my players were to react to that. Come on, game. Inside to Mbappe here. Over the top. Oh, okay. Not quite what I wanted. Please win that. Yes. Yes, Klasnach. Cross it in. What is that touch? Oh, yeah. Okay, mate. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, how have I lost this game? Well, not lost it. How have I not won this game? Oh, oh well. We're, we're still massively ahead in the Premier League. It doesn't matter too much, but it's because it's Tottenham. I was winning 2-0 and I've, I've let them back into the game. I was too cocky, so it really didn't matter at all because it looks like Chelsea and Liverpool have dropped points recently. We're 12 points clear right now. I mean, pff, with 16 games to go, it's not looking good for any other team. It is quite literally a race for us. How, how, how soon can we win it? How many games left will we have once we've won the league? Uh, we're going to finish this episode now with the last game of January, which is going to be Middlesbrough. We're going to use the second team. I'm probably going to simulate quite a few Premier League games now, especially ones like this one. They're in 18th. You know, we should be winning this game. Should be winning this game. Yes. 2-1. Um, so that's, that's definitely a good result. I was a little bit worried, actually. I, I didn't realise it was an away game until I started talking. Um, so we will simulate a couple of games just because we don't need to play every single game. We already won the league last year, so it's not top, top, top priority. But of course, now we've got deadline day. We're going to go through the, the final 10 hours of this window. Oh, wow. Moussa Dembele has gone to Newcastle. Interesting. Um, we'll finish this. And we've got a, a player returning from injury. That's great news. That's Mukiele. He's back earlier than I thought. Uh, Goretzka has moved to Roma for £61.7 million. Pounds. Of course, we were looking at him, but we went with Sergei instead. And Rodri has gone to Bayern for £73 million. How high rated is he? I know he's he's a very good player. He is 87 rated. He'll be great for, for them. Paulinho from Leverkusen has gone to Bournemouth. Any other big signings? I should probably check at the end here because some more big deals go through. Chelsea's only part of the window has been bringing in Ramsey. Interesting. Moose has gone to Atalanta there. He goes to so many clubs, doesn't he? And we've got three hours remaining. Of course, we're not going to be doing any business at this rate. We don't need to buy anyone. Are any offers going to come in? I don't think so. We do have an email, but it's it's not popping up as important. As in, you know, the emails that you don't have a choice but to read. And that's it. Premier League transfer deadline day has ended. Um, how much was spent? Let's have a look. So £644 million was spent. And there is confirmation that Mukiele is back from injury. And then you get the emails, of course. Happens every freaking window. It's just such a broken system. It's been in the game since I can remember that. As soon as you finish the window, then you get players saying, Oh, I want to leave. Please transfer list me. Why didn't you say before the window started? I wouldn't have sold them anyway. Um, but Gwendouzi, very close to 80 rated there. Smithrow has grown to 78, holding halfway to 81, which is really good. So let's take a look at who will be in the next episode. We have Bournemouth as our first game, and then it's going to be PSG. That PSG round of 16 is going to be very, very interesting. We then got Leeds at home, Crystal Palace away, Liverpool at home. And then it's pretty much... The grind to the Champions League final begins. That will be a big game. City, Huddersfield, Newcastle. 
West Ham, Burnley, United, Southampton. And then in May, we have Leicester, Everton, Brighton and Chelsea to finish things off. I'm going to make a prediction. I reckon we can win the league against Manchester United. So that will leave us with one, two, three, four, five games. That sounds like we could be on course to do that. So can we win the league by the 33rd game? I think we can. I really do. So thank you for watching this episode, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another one. Uh, of course, there's been no Arsenal games lately, so no Operation Arsenal, but I'm looking forward to the next game. And uh, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode very soon.